a troubling admission from Brevard County Schools this afternoon. The district says they were fooled by for years by a longtime teacher now locked up for having child pornography. News 6's James Barbero tells us new changes the district says it will enact in response to the principal's arrest. That's accurate. He did fall through the cracks in a 17 year period. Had Ricky Shepard previously got in trouble under the current leadership of Brevard schools, leaders say he likely would have been fired well before his child porn arrest Friday. I'm sickened by it. When the sheriff says investigators found over a thousand child porn pictures on his home computer. Instead, the letter he got for how he talked to a first grader back in 1999 was never seen by the old superintendent who promoted him. Shepard climbing the ranks from teacher to principal. Should he have been fired in 1999? I don't know. If you were only to look at that reprimand, I would say most people would say yes. But it's very difficult to second guess what people did almost 20 years ago. Before his arrest Friday, Shepard had no criminal history, so he passed a background check with the district in 2011. Brevard School says they'll continue the same background checks but they'll make changes elsewhere, like creating a new digital system to organize countless old paper files of long-term employees like Shepard. Why does it take an alleged discovery so horrible to have to be the catalyst for change? Well, somebody like uh, Mr. Shepard, who has worked here as long as he has, has a personnel file that's a couple of inches thick. It's difficult for us at times to justify spending a lot of money on new software programs, but we know that it's something that needs to be done. Shepard made his first appearance in court last Friday, the day he was arrested. His next appearance in a courtroom, that's happening tomorrow. Reporting in Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.